In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a three-step guide to losing the love handles for good, how to finally get rid of that annoying fat that sits on your sides. I've been there myself. It's very frustrating when it's the last bit to go, uh, but unfortunately, as men, this is often one of the last areas that we lose body fat from. So the first point is accept the hand you are dealt in terms of genetics. So genetics will determine where you store body fat, where the last place that you lose that body fat is from and as I say it's about being patient to make sure that you're doing the right things that you can control lowering your total body fat levels and then it will come off in that area so on the second thing which is creating a calorie deficit now you might have heard this term before what does creating a calorie deficit actually look like in practice well you have to be burning more calories through bodily functions through movement so walking uh, cardio gym sessions than you are consuming so you need to get the amount you are consuming in terms of food and liquid calories below the amount that you are burning now how do you actually do this in practice what you need to be doing is moving more and then tapering down your carb and fat portions while keeping protein high so how do we set up a calorie deficit diet what do you need to do the first thing is go online find a calorie calculator put in your details and I'll link a couple of them in the description. Go on Google, search calorie calculator, put in the details. From there, you will essentially get a calorie target that says this is how many calories roughly you need to maintain your body weight, your maintenance calories. You need to be consuming below this and create, this is called a calorie deficit, to lose body fat. Now what you're gonna do is subtract the maintenance calorie number by 500 to get your initial calorie deficit and you're gonna consume that amount of calories per day for like two weeks. Track your calories in an app like MyFitnessPal and then from there you're gonna see what happens to your body weight. So you're gonna weigh yourself daily and then look at weekly averages. If the average is coming down over a couple of weeks, you can see that you're in a calorie deficit because your body weight is coming down. If your body weight is not coming down, then you need to reduce your calories by a, f a further 200 or increase the activity level slightly. So there's a bit of trial and error here. I cannot tell you the exact number of calories you need to be consuming because you need to take an estimate and then just put it into practice and figure out, are you actually in a calorie deficit? Now, protein is really important for seeing those changes in shape. So if you go into a calorie deficit, you do some weight training in the gym, then what happens is if your protein is high enough while you're in a calorie deficit, you're still going to maintain most of your muscle mass, providing that you're training hard in the gym, maintaining the weights that you're lifting. If you are under consuming protein, then this is when you're gonna end up looking skinny and lose muscle as well as fat, which we don't want. Once you have your calorie target, if you're 500 calorie deficit, from this amount of calories that you have to a portion to carbs, fats, and protein, most important one's protein, you can set this at around 2.2 grams per kilo of your body weight or one gram per pound of your body weight. You can go a little bit lower, but it's good to just aim for a good amount of protein so that you are retaining as much muscle as you can while you're in a deficit. So once you've set your protein at one gram per pound of your body weight, use a target body weight uh, if you're trying to lose a lot of body fat. So let's say you start at 90 kilos, but you wanna aim for roughly 75 kilos. You can take that as your target and times that by 2.2. Now you've got your protein target. The amount of calories that you are portioned to uh, protein is four calories per gram of protein. So you times your amount of protein that you need per day by four. Subtract that from your total number of calories that you require. The rest is gonna be made up of fats and carbs. Now, the ratio of fat to carbs doesn't make a massive difference. It's gonna be mainly based on dietary preferences, uh, what you can digest better, what feels better for you. Some people are gonna prefer lower fat, higher fat, or somewhere in the middle. Now, providing that you have sufficient carbs to fuel your gym sessions and you're actually uh, feeling okay day to day, you can actually function in your job uh, and you're having sufficient carbs to actually do your day to day stuff, uh, you should be fine. Now, if your carbs are so low to the point where you're absolutely shattered and you can't function at work, it's probably a sign that you need to increase the carbs a little bit. So play around with the fats and carbs and try and have protein based meals. Now, once you are doing this for a few weeks, you can basically see, is my body weight coming down on average per week? And if it is, you know you're in a calorie deficit. As you lose weight, you're gonna to have to continue to gradually reduce your calories over time, but only do this when weight loss stalls. So if your body weight's coming down, great, no need to change anything. Eventually you're gonna to get to a point where you need to, your body weight stalls because you're burning less calories as your body weight comes down. 
then that's the point to reduce your calories by a further 200 or increase cardio or steps and then you go again. Now the last point, once you've got all these targets and you're putting it into practice over the first few weeks, I cannot emphasize this point enough, is patience. Patience is required. Think of it like this, if it, if it took you two years to gain a lot of body fat in lockdown or you've had a slow and steady uh, weight gain over a long period of time, it's not realistic to expect it to come off in two weeks. And unfortunately, this is where all the you know misleading videos or um, you know, information online around lose so much body fat in two weeks, it's just not realistic, right? So I'm not gonna you know, BS you here, I'm not gonna uh, lie to you and say it can happen rapidly. It's gonna take some time and it takes a, a fair bit of time to get rid of that last bit of body fat on the love handle. So expect it to take a bit longer than you expect. Um, initially and then just you know recognize the wins as you go so are you making progress are you seeing changes in shape taking your progress pictures uh, recognizing what else is going well maybe you're sleeping better mood uh, is improving maybe you're enjoying your train your gym training and these are all things that I, I really put a lot of em emphasis on in the first few weeks when I work with clients because realistically it's going to take a long period of time to see massive changes in body fat levels so once you accept this and you recognize what's going well, you start building a bit of momentum. And then, you know, when you get 10 weeks, 12 weeks, further down the line after a few months, that's where you're gonna see those bigger changes in shape. It, but, the, but the main takeaway here is trial and error. You have to just take the calorie target that you've got initially as an estimate, put it into practice with the diet, track your calories, see where you're landing see if your body weight's coming down if it's not adjust go again up the activity levels through a step count aim for like 10 8 to ten thousand steps a day if you can if it's practical around your, your work um, getting in those good habits of drinking more water protein based meals and then providing that you put this into practice and then you tweak where you need to you should see start to slowly see uh, the body fat levels come down uh, over a period of time and if it's not and you don't see any changes it's because you're not in a calorie deficit so you need to either increase the activity levels lower the food a little bit and go again but there's only so much I can tell you here without you having to go away and put into practice it is going to be difficult there are going to be days where you don't really feel like going to the gym or you don't really feel like going for a walk um, or it's harder to stick to the diet so it's about how what can you stick to in the long term and just being consistent keep showing up eventually you will get to where you want to get to but those love handles are probably the last area that the body fat is going to come off drop the video a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one